Hey everyone, this is Sweeney, the Try It Chick, and today we're going to try two different brands of magnetic lashes. One of them is a cheap brand from Amazon called Summer Rainbow, and the other is Glamnetic. So, let me tell you guys a little background about these two brands. But first, I'm going to start off with the cheap brand from Amazon. Once again, this is called Summer Rainbow and it is sold for $14.98. It currently has 4.0 stars out of 80 reviews, which is pretty good rating. So the reason why I chose this brand to go against Glamnetic is because it's one of the few brands of magnetic lashes in Amazon that has the most magnets. But unfortunately, the most magnets I could find is 5 magnets all around the lashes, which is 1 magnet less compared to Glamnetic. But for its ratings and reviews, it says it's pretty good. So we'll put that to the test and we'll see if this really does its job and does it compare to Glamnetic. Moving on to Glamnetic. You can buy these products at glamnetic.com So if you buy the lashes individually, they are sold for $29.99 Meanwhile, the Magnetic Liquid Eyeliner is sold for $37.99 And the bundle, which actually comes with two different sets of the Magnetic Lashes and the Liquid Magnetic Eyeliner is sold for $89.99 and if you do the math here, since the lashes are sold for $29.99 each and it comes with two in the bundle plus the $37.99 liquid eyeliner, it comes out... You're only saving $7.98. And for me, that's not much savings at all, especially if you're just trying out their lashes. Alrighty, before we get started, let me just show you guys what it looks like inside the box. So over here, this is the Summer Rainbow brand. And that's what you can see for $14.98, you get three sets of lashes. But they're all the same style though, so you can see they're all thick, they're all volumized. But the good thing is, it does come with the magnetic liquid eyeliner and a tweezer that will help you put it in place. Now moving on to Glamnetic. This is the liquid magnetic eyeliner that I have to purchase separately. And this is their lashes. I chose the Lust Lash because I just like the style. Let me just show you guys. So this is how it looks like. And so I just want to point out before I end this part of the video that this picture is very misleading. I mean, look at the lashes that it comes with. And look at her lashes. That is not the same lashes at all. That is called false advertisement. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna do one side, Glamnetic, and the other side, Summer Rainbow, so we can have a side-by-side -side comparison of the two brands. So I'm gonna start off with Summer Rainbow. So first impression on the eyeliner, it definitely has that old school eyeliner brush. It's not the pen type, which is my preferred type of eyeliner, but we'll see how this goes. I'm done for eyeliner. It's time to put on the lashes. So here's the lashes. I don't know if you can see, but there are only five magnets all around it. And I also just want to point out if these lashes are too long for your eyes, it's really hard to cut them off because you might cut off the magnets. They're like at the very corner. So 
I'm pretty much stuck with this length, even though my eyes aren't that big, obviously. So let's we'll see how this goes. Sticking that great. Oh, starting to stick. It's not that hard of a grip though. There's definitely some force there, I could feel it. It's definitely not sticking great. So what I just found out after the long hard fought battle with this lashes is that it doesn't go on if your eyeliner had dried out so I reapplied one more coat of the eyeliner and while it was still wet I stuck it on there and it held on better so this is now the lashes so you can see it's very dramatic definitely not the natural kind of lashes if you're into natural lashes but now we're gonna move on to Glamnetic. Okay, so first impression on the brush. It's very similar to Summer Rainbow. So I'm guessing the application process would be the same as well. But we'll see. say that you need to apply the lashes 80% dry so before this fully dries out I'm gonna do that here's the lashes I will just quickly show you guys that it really does have six magnets on there Okay, that definitely stuck on better than Summer Rainbow. I didn't have any problem putting it on. Matter of fact, let's test this out by pulling it out and putting it back on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now let's see if it could reattach itself. corner is not quite stuck but now it is wow I'm actually very impressed there was no struggle whatsoever with Glamnetic okay now that's done it's time to put them to the test Okay, so what I have here is my Dyson Wannabe hair blower and this little guy will help me test out which lashes could hold their ground. So let's get started. Alright, so we're gonna put it on the first setting because I don't want to be too shocking for my face. Alrighty, here goes nothing.
So, I don't know if you guys saw all the action, but the summer rainbow is barely holding on for its dear life. Meanwhile, Glamnetic didn't even budge. I'm actually very amazed. Wow. Now, for the second part of our test, we're gonna switch out the lashes to see if they are compatible with the other brand's liquid magnetic eyeliner. Okay, now we're gonna take them off, starting with the summer rainbow. <laughs> Damn, I look ridiculous, but this is from the hair blower from earlier. <laughs> that came off real easily. Now the Glamnetic. <laughs> there was definitely some resistance there. Now we're gonna switch them. Okay, so now I have Glamnetic on this side, and this is the Summer Rainbow. Okay, so that worked. Now the summer rainbow. Okay, so that worked too. But definitely the magnets on the Glamnetic holds on better, maybe because there are six magnets as opposed to five, which is what the Summer Rainbow has. So here's the verdict. I'm gonna give Summer Rainbow a three out of five, and that is because even though their lashes were nice and thick and luscious, performance-wise, <laughs> it's not quite up there compared to Glamnetic. You guys saw my wind test, and it was barely hanging on by a thread. And also, the application process was terrible. It was such a struggle to put it on there. But I guess this is where quality versus quantity comes in, because as what you guys know, this is sold for $14.98, and with that, you get three sets of lashes, you get the magnetic liquid eyeliner, and you also get the tweezers. So it might sound like a sweet deal, but if the magnetic lashes don't work, then it's not really that sweet of a deal. Moving on to Glamnetic, I will give this brand a 4.5 out of 5, and that is because even though performance-wise, it pretty much killed it, price-wise, it's pretty much quite deterrent to many people, including myself. I mean... <laughs> Who in their right mind would pay $30 for this and $37.99 for this? That's like 60 something dollars right off the bat. And that's just lashes and the eyeliner. And one can't work without the other. I mean, you could buy the lashes and glue it on, but without the eyeliner, the magnets won't work. So that is pretty much where the 0.5 is coming from. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, or comment. I have tons of other products to review, so you guys just stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Bye!